Welcome, everybody. I wanted to give an introduction to the definition of groups, which is the whole point of this class. So this definition will sort of contain definitions inside this definition, because while I'm defining a group, I'll also define a binary operation in blue and what it means for that operation to be associative in purple and what it means to be an identity element in green and what it means to be an inverse element in red. So, you know, full honesty, there's gonna be a lot of notation here, but we'll go through examples um, soon afterwards. So a group G equipped with this binary operation dot, and you can use whatever symbol you want for that dot. I mean, some our book drew this open dot there, but you'll also have so, you know, our book drew this open dot, but you also have addition or, or many different operations that could go there. But we often use multiplication or just that dot to stand for an arbitrary group operation. All right. A group is a set G along with a binary operation dot. Okay, so the two together is our group. It's both the set G and this binary operation dot. What in the world is a binary operation? Well, if I have two elements, A and B in my group, the binary operation allows me to combine them and to get a third element in the group, another element in the group, okay? So I can take two elements, A and B in my group and the binary operation maps it to A dot B, which is an output element in my group. So it's sort of like the dot takes two inputs in my group and spits out a single output, A dot B in my group. All right. So we need to be able to take two elements and combine them and get a third. So for example, the uh, group of rotations of the Pentagon in the plane is a group and you could rotate by um, one step and you could combine that with rotating by two steps and you get this rotation, which is rotating by three steps. All right. So this operation has to satisfy certain properties. It has to be associative. We talked about what associative meant for function composition. And it's a similar property here in groups. If I, shift around the parentheses, but leave the elements A, B, and C in the same order, then I don't change the output. So if I take A and B and combine them, and then afterwards combine C on the end, that's the same as first combining B and C together, and then combining that with A out front. All right, there has to exist an identity element E in our group. E is the most common name for it. What does an identity mean? An identity means that for any element A in my group, if I multiply A by the identity, I just get A back. And similarly, if I multiply A by the identity, but the identity is on the other side, okay? So you should think of the identity element as sort of like, doesn't do much, okay? So anything times the element identity is just unchanged on either side. Anything times the identity is just unchanged. And finally, for each element A in our group, there has to be an inverse. What does the inverse satisfy? If I combine the inverse of an element with the element, then I get the identity. And that's true in either order. If I combine the, an element A um, with its inverse in either order, then I get out the identity. One comment, there's a single identity in our group, okay? One identity, okay? So it's the one and only, it's sort of like the king of the group or maybe the most important element in the group, okay? Inverses are sort of like matches, okay? 
every element in the group has a friend, a partner, an inverse, okay? So in a group, there's only one identity, but every single element has a partner or a friend, an inverse that it's matched to. Um, your inverse could be yourself. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's true as well. So you're, you could have a friend. Uh, everybody should be friends with themselves and, and that's allowed too. Okay, before I get to questions, let's just do some examples. So, okay. So let's consider the group where the underlying set is the integers and the operation is addition. So remember the integers is just the set of counting numbers, including negatives. goes on forever. All right. So let's <clears throat> let's check some things. So let's look at the binary operation. So, you know, I can take one integer and another and where does it get mapped? It just gets mapped to a plus b. And that is indeed another integer. See that? Take any two integers, add them, and you get another integer. Let me change that to blue, because that's our binary operation. Okay. In purple, it is the case that take an integer, um, a, b, and c, and if I add them, I do have the property that a plus b, then with c added on the end, is equal to b plus c, then with a added on out front. All right. What do you think the identity is in this group? Any ideas? I'm looking at the chat. Zero. Zip zilch nada. Zero? <laughs> yep, zero is right. Um, the identity is zero since for any integer a, we have the property that a plus zero is equal to a, which is equal to zero plus a. Okay, so I'm writing this line right here, okay, but I've just written it in a different way. You know, my, my group operation is no longer dot. My group operation is now this plus, right? So instead of a dot e, I have a plus zero because zero is the identity. And instead of e dot a, I have zero plus a because zero is the identity. And I can combine zero with any integer when I add and I just get that same integer back. And last thing I'll say before we get to questions, um, the inverse of an element A is, any guesses? So what's the inverse of A? You know, um, Minus that's a? correct, negative A, yeah. And that's because um, negative a combined with a is equal to the identity. And similarly, a combined with negative a is equal to the identity zero. So what, what I've written here is really this, except in the notation of my group. Right? The identity in this group is zero. And then I'm claiming that a, the inverse of a is negative a. And then this dot is a plus because my operation in this group is addition. So when I combine a with its inverse, I should get the identity. And that's what I have here.
Okay. So you should really think of this as four properties. We have the associative property. We have the identity property. We have the inverse property. In the other version of Math 366 being taught this semester, you know, they're referring this referring to this definition as um, AII. So associative, inverse, and identity. You know, I would actually throw a B in front of that there. So instead of AII, I would say by or B A I I. Because don't forget about the binary operation. Um, it's the case that you need to be able to combine any two elements in your group and get a third in your group. That was quite fast. Um, we'll do some more examples next, but I'm curious, do you all have any public questions so far? Thanks so much.